Alright guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make another makeup tut. You already know what it is. Yeah, we're finna do with this, man. It's that everyday makeup look. This is uh, something I'd wear around the house, maybe to the gym. I don't know, really. But um, yeah, we're going to start it off here with some uh, Marc Jacobs. That's the uh, primer. Rub that all over our face. Rub it right in. Over your nose. Over the chin. Pretty much everywhere over your face. So then you're going to bring out the uh, naked skin. This uh, this can cover up any blemish you may have. I don't have any, but that's besides the point. Just chuck it wherever you can. doesn't really matter. Then you want to sponge it all in until it's all gone. Don't stop. Don't stop. Do we get it enough? Oh, all right. Now we got the uh, ABH Pro Palette. Yeah, you want that charcoal black. Put it all over your eyebrow. And then you are... Uh, Personally, I don't like real eyebrows. I prefer tattooed ones. They just look way more fleeky, but work with what you've got, I guess. So just uh, fill that shit in, fill that in. You want to make it look similar to a uh, to a wing. Looks a bit like a bird. Then you uh, draw some eyelashes on your eyelid. And it doesn't matter if you get some in the middle, because you're just going to blend that shit in anyway. Get your sponge again. doesn't matter if you get different colors on there, different products, whatever you want to do. Just sponge it up. Then you want to get the brush. I prefer Zoeva. Zoeva is the shit. doesn't matter what brush you got, though. Sometimes I use my finger. Sometimes I use my toothbrush. And then you want to pull out this palette. You want to get the light tan. And you just want to put that all over your eyebrow your eyelid and you just want to make a nice crescent half moon shape you're an inel though and then you want to go for the dark tan so you start with the light tan then you go for the dark tan but some days if you're feeling kinky you can just pull out the pink or the purple or the you know it's up to you i'm not going to tell you what to do just pick whatever colors you want light tan dark tan now i'm talking nudes 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 yeah then you bring it out all right so we got that neutral shit going on the eyebrow on the eyelid and then um you fill that in Nice. Then we got the Kylie lip kit, and we're gonna put that on our on our eyelid. So you wanna make a nice a nice wing. Yeah. Bring that right out to your eyelid, to your eyebrow. Then you bring it right back. Bring it right back. And then you do the same for the other one. Obviously, you fill that in. So it's nice, fleeky. You wanna get the ends nice and sharp. Oh. Then you gotta bring it in again. But you wanna blend this in, blend this in with your eyeshadow, just on the ends though. It's just gonna look a little fleeky. It's called fading. Fade that shit. Fade your eye shadow. All right, now we got the Kylie lip kit again, and we're gonna put that on our. That's an eyebrow pencil. Wait, I don't know what it. Okay, so you wanna crimp that, crimp that, crimp that. Oh yeah. And um, then you've got some mascara coming up. Bring that shit up. Bring that up. And once you got that going up. You want to um, get your tweezers and just pluck any of your stray eyelashes. If you've got too many, I mean, just pluck whatever you've got. Even if you don't have too many, just make sure you pluck your eyelashes. Now we got some foundation coming in. This is setting up for the contour. This is a very uh, crucial part of the makeup look. If you fuck up the contour, what are you doing? So just set that all over your face. So you've covered the whole thing then you want to draw these in very precise locations two under the eyebrows one on the nose one on the chin and a little mustache the mustache is crucial all right so uh just blend that in a little bit then you're going to want to pull out some uh some translucent highlighter and you just want to put that under your eye both eyes and um just brush it in we've got the zoeva going again Fade that, fade that, bring it out to the right. Then the Mexican mustache making a reappearance. Been going on that shit for two weeks, but you already know what it is. Oh, oh, yeah, that's some more highlighter. Then we got the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Polray. Oh, yeah, forehead, forehead, mast, mast. Um, I'd probably put some on my neck, but that's just me. Just put it all over your face if you can. Get the blush. And um, this is where the contour starts. So you start bringing it out. Just swish it. Just swish it. There's literally... There can never be too much contour. If you think you've contoured enough, you have not contoured. Contour your forehead. Then get some more contour. And keep contouring. So you bring that out. You just swish it. You just swish it. Just swish it. And the contour. When you're done. 
should look flaky as fuck. And okay, so one important part of the contour is the defined jawbone. So you must go underneath until your jawbone looks sexy as fuck. And now we're bringing it down. You want to put two fat lines on your nose. And that's just going to shrink that shit, make it look like a rabbit's nose. But it'll still look good afterwards. If you do it right, just follow these steps. Real quick, bring the mascara back down. you got to finish off those eyes. Oh, oh, now we got the, uh, I don't know what this is, but we're bringing out some blush, maybe. Some more blush. you just got to highlight that shit. Just highlight the contour. And now we got the lipstick coming in. Oh, here we go. So you want to start off with some lipstick, and then when you're finished, you want to finish it off with some lip gloss. Thanks for watching.